say hello and welcome to today's video on and it's another video on rainbow loom what can we say we love rainbow loom um so we got uh, a new set thing today that um my sister bought and we're just going to show you a little bit of it and then uh maybe even make a bracelet out of some of these colors i don't know yeah so let's start with the base one piece of equipment this thing it's um, a board it's like another loom tool that you can use to make all types of bracelets mm. and as you can see there's a bracelet in process and it's a very complicated type of bracelet uh if we if we figure out how to like actually do it without having to rewind multiple times and we'll make um, a video on it and we'll also have to memorize it so yeah that's basically this thing you know it's it has like some they look like tubes from the side. And then the yeah, bottom. it looks like chemistry equipment, like little tiny little tubes and then... Yeah, test tubes. Now the hook. So, this is a very mm. odd hook. Um, because right now it has the protector thing on it, so let's just take that off. And now, now it's more... Yeah, I have no idea what this thing at the back is for, but it's a hook. You can see a little hook end. And it's also pretty convenient. This is a hook cap thing, but also a loom. Yes. To loom on these things. So this is like a pretty convenient, like two in one set ish thing. And we can't forget our handy dandy rubber bands here. And they come, it's like all different colors. Yeah, like just a mix. Yeah. And uh, although I'm seeing that there's not that much blues in here, it's just a few light blues. Like this color. Yeah, because I use. Hmm. So, and it also comes with a tiny bag of C clips. So these clips um, are just like the S clips. They're just shaped like a C. Uh, we have a bigger pack of them, which we actually haven't opened yet. So we're good on the clips uh, thing. Yeah, um, we also have some bags to store the bracelets in here. Oh, yeah, that's very helpful. Wait, um, let's put some of our bracelets in there. Oh, yeah. Finally, something to store in the oven without having them just fly around. Oh, and look, it even says Rainbow Loom at the bottom. <laughs> Rainbow yeah. Loom. Okay, so these are the ones that I've found so far. There are more. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to grab them real quick, and my sister will show you how to put them in the bag. Oh. It's okay. Um, so you see this bag here? There's a little foot in there. Um, I'm going to do it with one of my bracelets, this one I made. Um, we're going to just ooh, put it down that little pocket. So that it's now kind of curved, and, but in, still inside the bag, push it down a little bit more, there we go, now up here, I think, this is my first time trying this, but I think there's something, ah yes, across the sticky part where you're supposed to fold it, um, peel this off, because you don't need that, then across the sticky part that you just peel it off, curve it and fold it to close up the bag. Just like that. So yes, and this is actually like a very like professional way to like give Rainbow Moon to someone as a birthday gift. Yeah. It actually looks Slap like. Slap it in the bag. 
put it in a box. Type yeah, one. so we have three more, uh, all of these I made. So this one is a bead one using the instructions that we showed you for this Wait. adding beads to rainbow loom video. Go Wait, check you that. You made this one? No, I made this one, which is based on the one that you made in the video for adding beads to rainbow loom. Yes. And then these two, yeah, this one was um, in a demonstration uh, for adding oh, charms. This one's very <laughs> tiny. Um, and then this one is just a very fiery red one with like a flower charm on it. Um, so, oh yeah, that's my July 4th bracelet that I made. Oh yeah, he, you can see we used like blue and white mix. Well, she used it. Yeah. Yeah, so I used, um, a blue and white mix, uh, a red and white mix and a, just a plain red so it has like more red than anything else in it like it has the least blue it has most red i yeah. think i'm pretty sure okay yeah. so uh Wait, yeah could you teach me how to do this so you see yeah you're gonna take the bracelet we already showed them yeah so, so you just take i think I'll, mine is one of yours i'll, I'll take my spring bracelet Away. And you're going to slip it down the pocket right here. Okay. It's, I'd like it to not be crinkled, but if it's okay with you be crinkled, then that's fine. Yeah, this is so a very. You should have something like this. Yes. In the pocket. And viewers at home, you don't like need. Uh, these yeah. rainbow loom bags to store your bracelets. You can, yeah, you yeah, can just make one and like, wear it. Take here. this. I know I already showed you, but we're gonna take them. Ooh. And then. How do you peel this thing off? Wait, you have to just get the corner, peel them. This was the other one. And now. Fold it down. Okay, I got it. Into the bag. Just like that. Now, it's packaged. <laughs> it's like a very good way to um, so now store your bracelets and make it like really looks like you bought it online. <laughs> like it's packaged, literally. And like you can make these bracelets if you think someone else might like them. You can like um, make up, like, like give it stand. to them for their birthday or something. Or if you want to, you can like make a stand, pack them, throw them in these bags, and then put them out for sale. Yeah, the bags are like really cute. It's like, like yeah, I mean, and they say rainbow loom at the bottom, so you know exactly what it is. If you're not sure, but still like the bracelet. So we're gonna keep packaging these up as you know how to do if you're listening you don't if you don't want to package them up then that is fine with me but yeah i I, prefer I think this is like a one time these are like one time use bracelets not bracelets uh bags because yeah, I want to try of, like, the sticky part. So yeah, I want to try packaging a two-colored one. Ooh, let's see. Let's so see. I like this two-colored one because it's actually it actually has like mixes that really match the charm. Ah, uh, yes. And then the bead is just like a cute one to add. You know, Ooh, just wait, add the bead. I want the charm thumb. to be facing. So, oops. now I have another three. I wonder if you can find these types of bags for other stuff because, like, they're very handy dandy. Yeah, just the thing is that they say Rainbow Loom at the bottom. So no, I mean like, like these types of bags for other things, so that like oh it yeah, says oh yeah, oh yeah. Under it. There are a lot of these. Lots of packages come with these to like open them up. Okay, and so I got it in so that the charm is facing the side that says Rainbow Loom. And we're going to grab the corner now. 
actually pretty easy now that I've done it before. Oh my god, whenever I get this, it like it it's like magnetic to me. I literally can't get yeah. it off. It okay, there oh, we yeah. go. Oh. With a little bit of feed sticks idling, I can get it off. Feed sticks idling. So now we have um all like some package ones. And here. here's the two colored one that's packaged. Yeah. So we're gonna keep packaging these because uh, we have a lot of bracelets like you can see. Really? We're gonna package them all? Well if we like we could save. I wanna some. put one of these on. Um yeah, yeah, me too. Okay, I'm gonna put on my flower bracelet. I think I, I think may put on the bead like. one. Yeah, the bead one's a good one. And maybe um this one. Um, I made this flower one right after I learned how to make the three-colored one. I just wasn't making that many two-colored one, and we were running out of ra um, uh, rubber bands, so I started making some two-colored ones, and this is, and then this flower one was one of them. And you can see here, I have a bracelet matching ring. Yeah, is that the one that says your name on it? Yep. Ah. And this one was before, uh, this was my attempt to make a three-colored one with the beads. I was only able to add one at the ends. Yeah. Uh, it like, sometimes falls apart, but it's only fell apart once before. Yeah, because, like, that's not the actual way how to, how to put on beads, but, like, we, like, like... We like putting on beads that are like those um odd shapes. Doesn't ones. that look professional? Like all of this. And like, definitely. Oh my look gosh, at... that looks professional. Like like you bought that off Amazon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like I mean, just the packaging makes it like look at that. Look, final that's, touches. That's the first one that I that I packaged. Rainbow. Oh, and definitely look out for more videos because we have like a ton more rainbow loom here. Yeah, every time you get something new, we'll update you. And uh, here's the jumbo bucket uh, sequence. Uh, we've been putting in some different colored things into the jumbo bucket. And so now all the colors are kind of mixed up. And yeah, we still have some from our very first kit here also. Yeah, uh, hmm, I got no idea. Oh, this is like, like, um, um, they, they, they were just hanging around. We didn't have yeah. a place to put them. We got so many clips. We have jelly colors. Oh, Ooh, they're oh, opened. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's put, let's put them back. Yeah. Oh, and if you look over, if you look over, uh, where is it? Oh, here. We repackaged this. We repackaged this. There's a, if you can't tell, there's a little bit of tape. But if you see this, that's actually the same bag that we were putting our bracelets okay. in. Yeah, and if you don't know where we got all of this, go check out our video, Big Rainbow Loom Haul, which by far is our most popular video. Most popular video with 66 views. Don't forget um, to like and subscribe. Uh, leave a like for every single video that you see. Uh, we have slime videos. We're trying to do more of that. And we we just got started up doing some Lego videos. So, uh, yeah, definitely like, today we're going to post three or four videos because we've been out of the loop for three weeks and we really need to get back into this. Yeah. Um, also, we might, uh, well, once we have our 10th subscriber, we've been saying this a lot in all of our videos, but once we have our 10th subscriber, subscriber um we're gonna do rainbow loom. we're gonna do we're gonna do a celebration video we're gonna do rainbow loom legos crafts crafts like slime, slime like origami or something and maybe even some of these guys cali coker who um there will be no other toys channel we made that official for in multiple videos um but we might uh we might start making videos about them on our main channel so oh and let me just let you know something about rainbow loom you don't have to just make bracelets with it you can make rings 
You can make necklaces, although that would take a long time. Yeah, so my sister here, she collected a lot of bracelets, and she just, like, put them together, and, oh my gosh, it's it's so pretty, the result. And mm -hmm. if I get another, like, clip, well, like, oh, I can just unhook these if I can. Not sure exactly how. So there's, um, if you don't know, there's actually an S clip connecting each one of yes. the bracelets to another. No, there isn't. There's only an S clip connected. Oh. Ones. And then the rest are glued together. Oh. Well, that's cool. Uh, and, yes. um, so you can also make necklaces into mask chains if you have two hooks here. Yeah. Um, you can just put them on the tails of your mask. And, and, and we are going to be uploading our very first, second, and second cooking videos soon. Um, like as soon as the end of June, uh, there's going to be probably like four cooking videos on our channel. So you can go check out those family recipes that we make every Saturday and every Friday. They're just, yeah, they're home recipes. There's pumpkin pie, mushroom soup, that sort of stuff, you know. You know, there's one that we have no idea what the name is. Really? Um, like, it's like, um, baguette cut and, with broccoli and then salmon. Oh, yeah, that is, like, that's, um, a family meal that everybody likes, every single part of it. Uh, it's although so... our dad's vegetarian, so he can't eat the salmon. But we call it the meal. Because <laughs> it's the only one that the whole family likes. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, look out for, um, uh, more videos. Uh, we just recently posted a video on some Legos, Harry Potter Magical Moments. We have two videos on that. Uh, so go check them out, uh, real quick. And we have, uh, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Um, uh, like, the the Lego set. Um, we have a bunch of Lego sets from that, but there's Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Lego that we're gonna be making a video on, and there's a Lego Friends Lego that we're gonna be making a video on. And so look out for all those. Also, don't forget to also um, there's one we didn't mention. There, it, it um, so we have this huge Lego tree house. We're gonna yes. be starring. It's it's huge. It's huge. It's ginormous. It's a Lego Ideas treehouse that's created by an actual person. A lot of people liked his idea, so they went ahead and made it into a Lego set, which I think is a pretty cool idea. Like, you can build some stuff, and then uh, they make it into a Lego set. So, um, but that's all for today's video. So, yeah, like and subscribe, and uh, be sure to check out our other videos on Rainbow Loom, Legos, and Slime. Bye-bye!